Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can open the PHP project using XAMPP and how we can open the MySQL database, right? So now the time is to execute this. Uh, when we click on this XAMPP, uh, XAMPP file, or uh, you can say that we can click on this XAMPP program application. So it will be uh, these Apache and MySQL will be started automatically. We don't want to click on this start start again, right? So how we can do this? So let's click on this config directory. So uh, let's click on this here Apache and MySQL. Check them and then save. Now these are saved. So let's close this out, right? So here I'm going to open this XAMPP here. Let's click on this XAMPP. So it's going to open the XAMPP. Yes, I want to open this as administrator. And yes, now it's uh, automatically open this localhost and MySQL, right? So if you want to execute this uh, FileZilla, Mercury or Tomcat, so you can also check them and click on this save. So it will by default open these files, right? So hope you get an idea that how we can directly open this file. So now let's uh, 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 stop these services and click on this quiet. So now I want to add this into my taskbar here. I don't want to search it manually here because I want to use it for many times. I don't want to manually search this. So let's click on right click on this and let's click on this pin to taskbar. Click on it and yes this one is appeared here. So I want to move this in the top right. So now let's click on this. Yes. And yes, now it started the started these two services, right? So in this way, we can open it directly. So now next question arises that how we can run it as administrator. So by default, it's running as administrator. So let's stop these services and click on this quiet. So if you are not running as administrator, it's not going to quite to uh, quite your files because it's going to throw the error, right? So let's uh, close this file. And let me go to the XAMPP directory. I'm going to this PC, and here in this PC, I'm going to see drive. See drive, not drive. Why I'm saying that drive every time? Okay, and here you need to find the XAMPP start dot exe file. To click on this exe file, right? And click on this create shortcut. So it will create this uh, shortcut for this. Uh, this file right so now it's created this shortcut so let's click on this uh, right click on this and click on this properties so now these options are available right so let's click on this advance and here in uh, if you are in your case it's not running as administrator so let's check this and click on this ok and click on this apply and ok so it will run it as administrator right so now here I'm going to type this ZAMP and clicking on this so you can directly clicking on this uh, file right so I'm clicking on this file and it's going to run it as administrator and yes it's uh, running it as administrator so how you can check that is it running or running it as administrator or not so let me go to the website Okay, close this out. Close this. So, uh, what is the website? Here it's telling that. Uh, yes, if it is not running as administrator, so it will throw a, a simple warning. There will be a security dialog or things will break. So, think about running this application with administrator, right? This will throw an. Uh, throw a warning that you need to run it as administrator so you can run it through by clicking creating a shortcut and then go to the advanced and click on check this uh, run it as administrator and that's it it will run it as administrator so hope you get an idea that how you can uh, check the php version how you can open the how you can auto start these services and uh, how to do this last step what we did this run it as administrator so hope you like this video if you like this please subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for the next video bye bye